It's not necessarily that's our overall philosophy. Our, our just overall philosophy is in that given day, in that given week, in that given season, will give you the best chance to succeed. And it might be the younger guy, it might be the older guy. I just, I also just, I think it's very wrong when you take a absolute philosophy to anything. Like, hey, you always got to give the younger guy the first shots because he needs that experience and that's how you develop them. That's great, but not at the expense of the other 52 guys on the team and the organization and losing games. Um, the first decision always is what helps you win the most or gives you the best chance to win. And in a league that it's very hard to develop guys because um, when you play, when you do anything at a professional level, it's, it's hard to do it at an extremely high level when you're not working on it year round. Um, so those guys who really can play in the NFL are usually guys that have experienced the NFL. Uh, they know how to handle those situations. And they were fortunate enough to get those so they could go through that and get better. But it's always, um, I, I hate the feeling of there's one guy left and you believe in that guy a lot, but he's not quite ready. But there's no third string. There's, and you got that guy's got to go. And now he goes in and he plays three games before he's ready. And the team gets frustrated with him because he makes some mistakes. He's not ready. The guy get, loses his confidence. And sometimes that can kill a guy. But you have no other option. So it's you can't always have the luxury of bringing bets in because if you always do that, then you never have youth coming up. But um, that's what's so so cool about the 16 practice squad guys, um, the six vets were allowed. That's what has allowed us to me do some things like that over the last few years that used to be real hard to do.